Everyone wants to know, did the Fed make a mistake by not cutting rates on Wednesday? I think the U.S. economy is slowing faster and in a broader sense than most people anticipated, including the Fed. What this means for Bitcoin, well, is it necessarily too pretty? Are we entering a recession? This is the conversation that is now on the table. New job data in the United States signals for the first time that not only is the NASDAQ in a correction, but that we potentially just entered a true recession. It's time to go beyond the headlines. Now there's a debate if the Fed needs to cut deeper when they go in September. Do you think that they should in September go to 50 basis points instead of 25? I think if they go, to, I mean, I, I'm laughing because so many people now are starting to say 50 basis points. To start with a 50 basis points cut means you've made a policy mistake. And this is a Fed that surprised a lot of people by having to hike four times in a row by 75 basis points. So they were late starting. And if they cut by 50, they will signal that they're late starting to cut. I think it would be a mistake to cut by 50. But the fact that some people are talking about it, I think, is where the information content is right now. That is exactly what's happening in these markets right now. Over 70 percent, yes, 70 percent of the market is now anticipating a 50 basis point rate cut, which would obviously mean the feds were late to the pivot and markets more than likely truly are actually in a recession. Only 30% of the market is anticipating now a 25 basis point rate hike. Only 29% of the market is now anticipating a 25% rate cut. And what this means for Bitcoin, well, is it necessarily too pretty? It could mean that Bitcoin dominance is going to remain high. And as Benjamin Cowan on Twitter pointed out, the total three could actually see a massive reduction here on the charts actually starting to drop all the way back down back to some major support levels which could mean we get altcoins starting to bleed down 20 30 40 maybe even 50 percent on the daily or weekly time frame here this would decimate altcoins but do one thing that i honestly believe needs to happen in this crypto market which is going to be filling the futures gap that was created on bitcoin cme gap just a few weeks back prior to this recent pump i have been getting you guys ready for this saying that even though we're at seventy thousand dollars there is an 80 to 90 percent chance that this future gap would be filled and that is based off historical data points and now us breaking through that daily sma right here that moving average it does look like that we are starting to pull back to this range and so does this mean we're in a recession does this mean the nasdaq is going to continue to bleed and is bitcoin going to continue to follow has the fed underreact and have they caused what could be further downside in these markets take a listen well, look, you know, I'm not going to get myself in trouble and talk about what people's thinking are from the meeting. You're going to have to wait for the transcript to come out uh, to see what, what was on people's mind. I've, I've been saying to you, Mike, for, for a long time and publicly that we'd never want to overreact to any one month's numbers. And if you back up to the last half of 2023, you know that the market said there, maybe there would be seven cuts for the year. And mm -hmm. then when a month would come in, then that seven would drop to three. Then there was a group saying maybe there will be an increase in rates. The job of the central bank is to figure out the through line and to move in a steady way. And I have to 100% agree with Austin Goolsby here from the Chicago Fed. He is the Chicago Fed president. But when we look at liquidation maps, guys, we could see that we are bottoming out on these markets. In fact, on the 30-day time frame, we are looking to consolidate around the $63,000 level. So can we go to 58? Definitely. There's about $4 billion of positions that would be wiped out. However, if we go down to 58,000, there'd be over 10 billion short positions that would be set up to wipe out. Markets are overestimating the possibilities of being in a recession. There's a lot of fear in these markets. Of course, we have also what's going on in the Middle East with Iran and Israel affecting the UAE stock market and of course, supply chains with oil. There is a lot of things that are impacting the fear in these markets currently. But when we zoom out, we have now eaten all the liquidity below us. And if you go to that monthly time frame, you're going to be looking at a serious amount of liquidity opening back up at above that $70,000 level, which I have been training you guys about nonstop for weeks.
Now, quick shout out to today's sponsors, Consolation DAG, a layer zero that is perfect for building your favorite Web3 applications on IoT, AI, DPIN, you name it. And they are currently hosting one of the biggest hackathons of 2024 with over $100,000 in prizes. If you were looking to get into Web3, now is your time to go sign up. You only have 30 days left to hit the deadline. A project that's been around for years is now going to have over 500 contenders. Just imagine if a fraction of those become insanely legitimate and start producing transactions. Fees. So make sure you add Constellation DAG to your favorite watch list. Now back to the show. These markets are scary, but there is something that nobody is talking about. And that is Donald J. Trump coming out and saying the way out of the United States debt, the way to fix our economies could be Bitcoin. Take a listen. Who knows? Maybe we'll pay off our $35 trillion, hand him a little crypto check, right? We'll hand him a little Bitcoin and wipe out our $35 trillion. Wipe out our $35 trillion. Something that a lot of people want to talk about, but a very big possibility. A lot of analysts have come out and saying, I don't understand what the value or the benefits of a strategic reserve would be for Bitcoin. Because guys, let's face it, even if we back the US dollar by Bitcoin, it is not going to fix the decades of money printing and deficit issues we've created from our politicians, both from the left and from the right. So what this would do would show that there is a pivot and a stance on finally fixing those United States national debt issues. And this would be very beneficial to crypto. It would mean more than likely you would see positive crypto legislation and regulation, bringing more energy to the United States, taking that negative energy, the excess energy created, as well as the emissions that are going to come from all these energy providers by reducing that, consolidating that and transferring it over into Bitcoin mining and energy. You're reducing carbon emissions, saving the climate, and you're producing a net value out of what was once a net negative. This is true ESG. Lock in these next few weeks, these next few months, yes, they might be pretty detrimental to your portfolios. You might see 20, 30, 40% dips, but personally, I am going to be looking to dollar cost average into my favorite products like Aerodrome, Ondo, Solana, Chainlink, and I'll be looking to take advantage of the opportunity everybody is scared of. Now, if you're somebody that struggles with your emotions in this market, make sure you go check out FOMO.io, the greatest fear and greed index tool on the market that is created by yours truly. I am the founder of this website, and it's got every Every single one of your favorite altcoins completely free to use for Bitcoin and Ethereum. But if you are somebody that is looking to dollar cost average, maybe it's into Ondo, maybe it's into Chili's, maybe it's into Decentraland Mana, you will be able to get a direct indicator on if markets are overly bearish or overly bullish. You want to buy when we are in the red and you want to sell when we are in the green. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. And of course, you guys let me know in the comments below, what altcoins are you picking up? Maybe you should also give me your price predictions down in the comments. It is the time to dollar cost average.